Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for mo it's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to go through an explanation on how Bandit works from FAC. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm inside the AUM. As you can see, I have just an audio channel and I have Grand Piano AUV3 as an audio source. And I have loaded uh, FAC Bandit inside the um, the insert effects. Now let's uh, also add a MIDI track and uh, let's also bring step pad like so and let's connect step pad to produce uh, some notes against the grand piano instance. Let's configure step pad to have uh, a minor scale like so. Uh, probably some notes um, like so and perhaps um, something like that let's uh, construct something simple like that and then we change the rate to uh, probably half like that and let's remove band in and let's hear it first okay that will do so let's enable FAC Bandit and let's maximize the UI. First of all, I'd like to say the UI is really nice, really um, clean, precise as well. So what is FAC Bandit? It's a multi-band audio processor, a really nice one. As you can see, you have three bands here, one, two, and three, okay? And then uh, for each of the band, you can apply effects here. You can decide, for example, the mix of the effects before they get combined, and then the combined audio goes to the output, and you can decide how much of the wet or dry to actually send out, and therefore you can also establish the level and settings of the crossover frequency. So the low band here between the first two here, and also the high band between the last two here. Okay, so let's try it. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to... Uh, set the uh, mix to zero, like so. Okay, then we are going to remove the effect. We click no effect on each one of those, like so. Okay, and then next we are going to lower all the gain on the uh, free bands. As you can see, we have only wet going out, and then we have dry to zero. Okay, if I play now, you will, of course, not hear anything. Now, if I increase the dry, of course, you hear the dry sound, which is going out. It's like having it in a bypass mode. And of course, if you change the wet dial, nothing happens because uh, the free bands are set to zero, okay? So, let's go to the low band here, and we just increase the gain. So you can hear the low frequency of that audio signal, which is coming through on the first band. Now, which frequency is going through is dictated by these low band crossover frequency setting here. So let's play and change that. And as you can hear, the higher it goes, it will start to let through higher frequency, right? And of course, the lower you go, it will let, let through only lower frequency. Now, let's set these down to zero and let's increase the high band now. Like so, we increase the wet now. So you can hear only the high frequency going through. Again, which high frequency is established by these crossover frequencies dial here between the two bands here. Okay, so let's listen and adjust that high band crossover frequency. Of course, if I lower these, uh, you will you will have more mid uh, frequency going through and lower frequency, of course, going through. Now I have only one piano um, going through band um, FAC bandit, and I've done that on purpose because. Uh, that is the way you actually really test how good the 
um, multiband audio processor really is. So now let's start to apply some effects to that high band. Of course, I haven't showed how the mid one works, but it's exactly um, the same as the first two, but it lets through only mid frequencies. So now click on no effect here, and let's, um, for example, go for uh, a delay, a ping pong delay. There are a lot of effects, as you can see. You have saturator, different types. You have lo-fi, different types as well. You have single and dual ring modulator, and then you have delay and also reverb. Now, it's quite nice, the Abyss reverb, um, and all the reverbs actually are quite nice, but I find that really quite amazing. But now, let's select the ping pong delay. As you can see now, you can set the feedback here. You have time in there, also the color in terms of that low pass uh, uh, width, and then you have the mix of that effect before it is combined with the audio output. So let's play with it a little bit. So let's increase the wet uh, uh, output, okay? And you can you can hear when I set the color um, to a lower percentage, you, you have uh, more of the, those high frequency coming out in the delay, right? So when it's higher, it, it, the sounds become a little bit duller in that delay. And of course, we adjust, can adjust the frequency. So now you can already hear that the sound is already different than that normal piano. We have just a particular set of frequency, which is set by this high band crossover frequency, which are let through. And we have a delay ping pong apply to uh, those frequency which have been affected. And uh, you can set, as I said, the feedback, the time and the color and the uh, mix as well of that audio which has been uh, uh, changed by the delay effect. Now, what I want to do is to apply an effect as well on the mid band, and this time I'm going to select actually a big reverb. Now you can change the size, you can have um, Pre-gain as well, dampness, and I'm um, sorry, pre-delay, you have the dampness, and also you can set the mix. Okay, so let's listen. It's almost like having a pad in uh, the mid band, isn't it, in terms of sound. Now, let's see what we can do on the lower band as well. We can apply another effect, perhaps a soft saturator. Okay, and now let's just change the setting, like the post low pass frequency, any pre-gain uh, mixture, so that we can create a little bit of a bass type of effect. So let's click play. <laughs> Thank you. 
that, that if I change the setting on the low band crossover frequency, uh, I'm, and if I lower that in particular, I'm going to open up uh, more for this uh, um, reverb, this big reverb actually to take effect. There's a, a wider uh, bandwidth, right? Of course, each band you can mute or you can solo as well. So let's try. And the solo is quite interesting because it allows you to really test one particular band while the others uh, are muted, right? So that's quite nice. So let's try the middle one. So you can hear there is that big reverb in there. Now, now let's try the lower one. And perhaps we can change the type of saturation. Really nice. So let's try them all again. The other thing you can do, you can also change the slope here for the crossover um, um, frequency as well. So let's try. You can hear there is, in this particular case, a subtle uh, difference, but it is make a difference depending, of course, on the type of sound and frequency that uh, um, is in between the crossover of the frequencies. <laughs> And of course, you have here a selection of presets, so which is really nice. So just click in here, and then you choose one preset, and um, just have um, fun because there are a lot of nice and interesting one. Let me stop now. Step bud that is playing. If you click on the eye here, you have access to tip the jar which I recommend you do to leave a review. You can go for the welcome screen and also for a fantastic online documentation, which gives you an explanation of all the settings for uh, the different effects. So I recommend you give a, a thumb up to Fred and um, tip selective jar if you can. And of course, leave a nice review because it's really a nice, fantastic um, multiband audio processor. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, see you next time. Bye.